this video tutorial i will cover spring ioc container spring container is the core of uh, spring framework spring container is responsible for create the objects configure the objects wire the objects together and uh, manage the objects uh, complete life cycle from uh, creation till destruction from configuration metadata spring container gets instruction on what objects to instantiate what objects to configure and how to configure and what objects to be assembled configuration metadata can be xml or java annotation or java code spring container make use of pojos and configuration metadata to produce fully configured system or application which is ready to use ioc is also known as dependency injection bean factory interface and application context interface or act as a ioc container bean factory is the simplest container which provides basic support for dependency injection bean factory and related interfaces like bean factory hour initializing bean disposable bean are still present in spring for the purpose of backward compatibility with a larger number of uh, third party frameworks that integrate with uh, spring application context container adds more enterprise specific functionality like uh, ability to resolve uh, textual messages from a property file and uh, ability to publish uh, application events to the interested uh, event listeners application context container includes all functionality of uh, bean factory container and also it supports uh, some more additional functionalities so it is better to use uh, application context container next we will see how to use uh, bean factory and uh, how to use uh, application context here i have defined uh, employee class it has uh, name property and uh, setter method for uh, name property and it has uh, employee details method this is the spring configuration file and uh, here we have mentioned employee object should be created and uh, name property should be set as uh, peter this xml define what object to instantiate and what object to configure and how to configure in this case we have to create uh, employee object and uh, name property should be set as uh, peter spring container read this xml file and uh, create the employee object and uh, configure the employee object and uh, manage the employee object uh, complete life cycle from creation till destruction Spring container is nothing but uh, IOC container. Application context uh, or Bean Factory can act as Spring container. This is the main class. Using Bean Factory, I am getting uh, employee object from uh, Spring container and uh, displaying the employee details. Here, uh, using application context, I am getting uh, employee object from uh, Spring container. And displaying employee details. If I run this program, I will get uh, this output. XML Bean Factory is the implementation class of uh, Bean Factory interface. To create Bean Factory, we have to create instance of uh, XML Bean Factory class. It accept resource object. Resource we are pointing to Spring configuration file. Class path XML application context is the implementation class of application context interface. To create application context, we have to create instance of class path XML application context class, and constructor of this class accept 
string configuration file. Now we will see how to import the spring application and how to run the spring application. Next we have to compile this project using a maven command. I am going to compile this project. I am going to run this uh, program. And here you can see the output. We got employee object from spring container. And here you can see the employee detail. Now we will recap spring IOC container.